Hello, everyone, and welcome to LinkedIn Live. I'm Rasa Fox from New Era Technology. I'm the uh, Director of Projects and Engagement, and today we're going to be talking about Genesis Cloud Copilot. All right, so in our session today, we're going to give you in, an introduction to Genesis Cloud Copilot, uh, talk about how we implement Genesis Cloud Copilot at New Era. I'll be doing a Copilot demo and walking through how Copilot is set up and some of the configuration options. Uh, and then we'll get into how you would prepare for your Copilot engagement, and then we'll have a Q&A session. So to start with, what is Genesis Cloud Copilot? So Copilot is a feature in Genesis Cloud that essentially enhances the communication between your agents and your customers by presenting knowledge articles to the agents, presenting suggestions, next steps. And this is also how it assists agents with their interactions. So as part of Copilot, it actually references a knowledge base that you set up, scans the conversation, and then provides relevant articles to the agent based on what is going on in that conversation. Uh, to assist with after call work, Copilot also provides a summary of the conversation, the reason that the person contacted, and the reason for the call. And so this is all done with generative AI. Copilot can also suggest wrap codes to the agent, can suggest scripts, and scripts are how an agent can get, you know, the next best thing they should be saying, uh, possibly buttons to other systems, forms that they need to fill out. And Copilot can also uh, suggest canned responses to the agents, which are essentially responses that they can insert into conversations, especially in something like chat. All right, so here at New Era, uh, we have a framework for success when we implement Copilots. And let me just kind of go through what our implementations look like. So essentially, when we start Copilot implementations, uh, we provide a lot of training. So we'll train you on, you know, how to use Copilot, how to set it up. But then we'll also train you on your knowledge base. So how should you be setting up your knowledge base? A knowledge base consists of uh, a number of articles that can be presented to the agent. But it's really important that you set your intents carefully. So what words is Copilot scanning the conversation for? So you want to make sure that your intents and utterances are set up properly. So we go into depth on how to set that up for Copilot. Uh, from there, we'll help you define your objectives uh, and see who should be your targeted pilot. So you want to start small, pick a pilot group, and pick a certain thing that you're trying to accomplish. So what's important in your organization? Are your customers always filling out you know, complicated forms? And they're always calling into the contact center for help with these forms. So that might be a, something where you want to reduce your average handle time for agents. And you can do that by presenting knowledge articles on how to fill out these forms for the agents. And these would pop up automatically based on the conversation. So once we get into the pilot, uh, we would look at what we learned in that pilot with you, you know, what you've learned about Copilot and how it works in your organization. And we would plan to large launch to a bigger group. Uh, from there, we evolve. Essentially, Copilot is not a set it and forget it thing. As you use the knowledge base, people are presenting, you know, feedback to it. So you want to go in and tune your knowledge base based on that feedback you're, you're receiving. So from there, you're evolving, you're monitoring, and you're tuning your Copilot, and that's kind of an ongoing thing. All right, so now I'm going to get into a Copilot demo. I'm just going to switch screens over to, to Genesis Cloud. Give me one moment. And we are going to demonstrate Copilot. So this is my chat screen. So here we are at Jellystone Park. I am a customer here, and I might have some questions for, for the agents here at Jellystone Park. So I'm going to pop up my chat here. And what I really want to know is, can I camp at the park? So, so currently, I'm connecting to the chat bot. This is not an agent yet. And the chat bot is, you know, ask me for clarification. I want to know if I need a reservation to camp at the park. So I'm going to go forward with that. So it seems that I do. Yes, it answered my question. 
but in this case, I really want to make a reservation, so I'm going to ask to speak to an agent. All right. So here we go. Yes, I do want to speak to an agent, so I'm going to go pop over here. Here we are in Genesis Cloud. I'm going to go on Q as an agent, and here I am getting that interaction. So I'm going to go ahead and answer it. And so this is the agent view in Genesis Cloud. So I've been sent that conversation here from the chatbot. I can go back and scan through it and see what was going on. I see what the chatbot has already answered for the customer. And Copilot has already kicked in, scanning that conversation and started offering me suggestions. So I don't have to do anything with this one. The, the bots already answered it. So there is Copilot. I also have a script. This is the item I was talking about earlier that presents information to the agent. In this case, you know, how do I greet the person? There's a map of the park, some buttons for different sites that might be useful to me. Uh, in this case, I should be chatting with the customer. So I will ask, how can I help you? And this has gone back over to the chat. And as a customer, I might ask, do you have bears? And that's gone back over to me now. And Copilot has found a matching article in the knowledge base. Are there bears? So I can click on that. And the main part of the answer, you can see Copilot has highlighted it. So just a quick answer, there are several bears here in Jellystone National Park. So I can insert that answer, or I can insert the whole article. Or if this was a phone conversation, I could speak to this. In this case, I'm going to insert the whole article. Send that over. And as the customer, I've received that information. So now I want to schedule a visit. And popping over back here to Copilot. So in this case, Copilot is, is suggesting a script for me for reservations. So I'm going to go ahead and load that script. And now when I pop over to the script, it is something entirely different. This is my reservation request script. So Copilot has updated that script with the relevant script in order to help this customer. So in this case, I will say, yes, you can. And in this case, I'm just going to fill it out for, for Cindy Bear, who will be staying for three nights with four people and a check-in date of next Monday. So I'm going to go ahead and submit that. You are scheduled. And I'm going to go ahead and end this conversation now. So just disconnect that. And as you can see, Copilot at this point is generating a reason for contact. The schedule a visit. I have my summary here about the call. And my resolution as well. It suggested some wrap codes. In this case, I will pick visit scheduled. And this is helping me with wrapping up my call. So I can even take these notes, copy them, and place them here in the notes. So this is what Copilot looks like to agents. As you can see, it helps them with the conversation by suggesting articles, suggesting scripts. It can also suggest canned responses if we have these configured. But let me show you a bit behind the scenes of Copilot. I'm just going to pop over here to the admin screen now. And we are going to look at the knowledge base that is associated with this copilot. So scrolling down here to knowledge articles. This is the, the heart of copilot where it is scanning these articles and looking for any matches in the conversation in order to provide data. 
So you can see there is feedback provided on the articles. Uh, this could be from the bot, this could be from the agent saying whether or not that helped them. Uh, and using that, I can actually monitor here and make improvements. If I look at one of the articles, here is where I've set a title. So this is the main purpose of the article. I have the content for the answer. Uh, but also here we have different utterances, different phrasings. So what are different ways a customer might request this information? So through this is how you set up your knowledge base with relevant information for the agents that you are targeting. I can also look at feedback for each article. In this case, no comments, but I can see thumbs up and thumbs down. And then I can also look at optimizer to see overall, how is my knowledge base doing? How many queries is it answering or not answering? And what are my top answered or not answered queries? So this is where we get into tuning and how you make sure that your knowledge base is performing properly. So this is the knowledge base aspect of Copilot. Copilot is essentially assigned to that queue that an agent is taking calls for. And it is assigned over here in the agent Copilot settings. And I'm just going to pick my Jellystone Park Copilot. And this is where I can add intents that the Copilot is listening to in order to trigger certain actions. So in this case, I just have one for scheduling a visit. When I click on it, these are my different utterances. So what are different ways someone might ask to schedule a visit? And then I have my rules engine here. So when something is triggered, what do I want to do? And in this case, I have that schedule a visit page that pops up. I'm going to go ahead and edit that. This is where I could also pop up a canned response if that was more relevant. And it really lets me customize what information is presented to the agent in which scenario. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of that. And this is essentially Copilot. So I'll just show the advanced features. You can turn on or off generative AI as you wish. And the highlighting of the answer, the targeted answer is uh, something that can be turned off and on as well. All right, let me just pop back over to the presentation and we'll just talk about next steps that you can do if you wish to set up Copilot. All right, just back over here. All right, so what if you want to use Copilot? What are the next steps for you? So essentially, you, you should start working on what do you want to focus your pilot on. How can you do that? Speak to your agents. So your agents are the, the frontline staff. They're the ones talking to people, and they probably have opinions on what would be more, most helpful to them when they're speaking to someone. Uh, you can also review the top reasons that customers are contacting you, maybe through rep codes, uh, maybe through just monitoring conversations. Uh, and then there's also a feature in Genesis Cloud called Intent Miner that you can use to gain insights on interactions. So these features can really help you focus your pilot and determine you know, what's best to start with. Remember, you want to start small and you want to grow. And then start thinking about how is success going to be measured. So what are your goals? I said, do you want to reduce handle time? Do you want to reduce after call work time? What metrics are you going to use to track progress? All right, so that is an overview of Copilot right now. I will say that Genesis does implement new features every week. So this is Copilot um, at this time, but there are you know, new enhancements to Copilot coming out all the time. So as time goes on, you'll probably see different features there. All right, and I guess just now, do we have any questions from the from the room? Yes, we have a few. OK, so the first one is, does Copilot work for email interactions? Not at this time. So Copilot works for voice interactions, uh, chat, which you saw in SMS. Uh, but currently, email is 
it's been requested. Genesis has an ideas portal where people can suggest new features, but it's currently just under review, so it's not even really on the roadmap yet. Okay. Um, the second question is, how do you measure effectiveness of Copilot? And then with that, what reporting capabilities are currently available? Ah, yeah, so there is some reporting capabilities of Copilot. Uh, you can see which agents are using it, uh, basically how much. And with Copilot, with the engagement, as I said, if you want to, you know, pick a metric that you're trying to target to reduce, maybe it's average handle time, maybe it's after call work time, you could look at that. Uh, but if you really wanted to get into the, the details of Copilot, just to see for specific agents, is it, are they using it to reduce, you know, their handle time? you might actually want to get into reviewing individual interactions, maybe with a screen recording to see how much they're actively using it. And if those calls are the ones with the lower handle time. So essentially there's, there's a few different levels in being able to do that. So out of the box reporting, monitoring your metrics or looking at individual interactions just to see in detail, is it helping? Okay. Awesome. And then the last uh, question that we have here is that um, how do you set Copilot up for multiple languages and then how many languages can be supported? Oh, good question. Um, Copilot as itself, each Copilot is a single language. So you set it up with one language per knowledge base. So the knowledge base can only be for one language and that knowledge base is assigned to a queue. So if you wanted multiple, you would have to create multiple knowledge bases and multiple queues. I don't know off the top of my head how many languages are supported, but I can actually jump back over to Genesis Cloud. We can even have just a quick look all together to see how many languages are, are in that list. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over to the knowledge base and we can look at the list of, of languages for a for an article. Back over here, just going to uh, create a new knowledge base. Oh, actually, once I created it, I can't edit it, so I'm just gonna go back over to Copilot. Create a new Copilot, and here is our list of languages. You can see there's quite a few, um, a few different flavors of Spanish, Japanese, French, so that looks about 12 different languages, I'd say, but each co-pilot, as you see, can only be one language. So if you are working with multiple languages, you would need to set up multiple. Okay. And that was it um, for questions. Excellent. Well, thanks everyone for, for attending and have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, bye-bye.